create a new document press control 0 to center it make sure you have no fill and only stroke selected paste a sample of the design you want to make it makes things a lot easier press M on a keyboard make a circle rectangle with 500 pixels center it now press L on your keyboard to get a circle ellipse tool and give a circle and make sure your circle is perfectly aligned with the top right corner and the center of the circle is on the perpendicular edge of the square zoom in so that it's aligned perfectly the better you align it the better it will be for you in the later stages hit V on your keyboard to select the selection tool and press alt and shift on your keyboard and make a copy of the circle and align it with the bottom edge of the square again zoom in to make it perfect now select both the circles shift and alt on your keyboard and do the same on the left hand side make another copy of both the circles while holding shift rotate it by 90 degrees holding shift will snap it to no, snap it by 45 degrees and align it perfectly with the top top side of the square use the arrow keys to align it again pressing shift and alt on your keyboard make a copy to align it with the bottom side of the square that's your basic design for now now go to the stroke window and pump up the stroke to a desired stroke outline stroke hit this arrow to change from fill to stroke go to the pathfinder window and hit divide right click and hit ungroup with the whole thing selected press shift and rotate it by 45 degrees now we will de start deleting the parts we don't need so that our design makes, becomes easier if, it, if needed be do enlarge the design but press shift and hold on your keyboard If you make a mistake, hit Ctrl Z to go back and re redo it. It might look like a lot of lines, but you need to be patient here. Now with everything selected, Use the shape builder tool and start forming your design. Before that, if you want to make the design transparent, you have to delete the inner parts. So press Alt on your keyboard and delete the inner parts. You also have to do some adjustments here so that you get only the parts you need and not the parts and not the unnecessary parts. Now let's start from this side. Celtic designs are basically over and under designs. And start filling in the design in reference to the design you have, template you have on the right. Having a template helps you a lot here.
I do apologize for the background noise. You make a mistake, hit Ctrl Z to go back and redo it. Try to include as much of the anchor points as possible so it cleans up the system design. So you have left a little small anchor point here. You will press Alt on the keyboard and remove that. While pressing Alt you can see that the sign will change from plus to a minus. Now we have it in plus so we, can, we are adding this, adding the parts together. We can actually include a few more anchor points here. It cleans up the design. So that's your basic design. Now we are going to color it. You can go for a black and white option. I'm using a four color design. Use the light green bucket option. Select a color. I'll start with red. Use the color which you think you need to do. It depends on your design. Now we have to put a background behind it. You might choose it, choose to leave it white, but I am choosing a background for it. You press M on your keyboard to select the rectangle tool. Hold Shift and draw a square. Center it. Right click on the square. Or you can change the color also first. So I am choosing some shade of orange here. Right click on it and go to arrange and send it to back select the design and center it also you don't need this template anymore that's your basic design 